While governments across the world try to contain COVID, the race for a vaccine is on. Pharmaceutical giant Johnson & Johnson announcing a lead vaccine candidate for COVID-19. It is just one of many vaccine candidates already in testing phases. The World Health Organization has said there are over 100 vaccine candidates and at least eight in human trials. Here to talk about this road to the vaccine is principal scientist and immunologist for Johnson & Johnson, Rinka Boss. Welcome and thanks for being with us, Rinka, all the way from the Netherlands. So if you can, Walk us through what a typical day looks like for you right now. Thanks for having me on the show, Amy. Uh, well, we have been working extremely hard since uh, January, since uh, the sequence of the virus uh, has been published. Um, well, I start always my day with having breakfast with my kids and taking them to school as my husband is uh, leaving for the hospital early in the morning. Um, but I, I meet every day with my team. We discuss what needs to be done, any updates from the day before. We have a lot of logistics to discuss as well because we also have to keep the social distancing. So we have only two people maximum in one laboratory. Uh, as soon as people have a cough or a, a dripping nose, they have to stay home and activities have to be taken over by colleagues. Um, we work very closely with other people in the discovery organization, the preclinical team, the designing team. And now we also really start to work close together with the rest of the organization that is really producing the vaccine for clinical trials and is already preparing for production of large amounts of vaccines for distribution and uh, for immersion to use. Wow, I mean, it's remarkable to hear how you start your day off as a mom, like so many people, and yet now you've got you know, the, the world watching to see what you can do to save the rest of us. How much pressure do you and your team feel to come up with this vaccine and to get it right? There's actually not that much pressure. We really like doing our job, so we feel we're doing our job. It is way more busy, of course, than normally, uh, but we're just trying to do the job uh, we can uh, the best way we can. But I'll put the pressure on you. Do you have a timeline for when this vaccine could become available for in the entire world? Yeah, so it's difficult to say exact timelines, but we are preparing now for phase one studies. So that means uh, healthy people being injected with the vaccine to uh, extensively test safety and also uh, immunogenic uh, immunogenicity. And that's been scheduled now for uh, September the latest. Uh, and after that, uh, yeah, we have to test in phase two, phase three studies to, to see whether the vaccine uh, actually works. Now, we've heard from a lot of experts who say that 12 to 18 month timeline that we've heard from other people for getting a vaccine is just way too optimistic. What do you think uh, about that timeline? That's really difficult to say. We are really dependent also on the regulatory agencies. So we can uh, we do a proposal to regulatory agencies and they come back and then we have a discussion uh, how, how yeah, what the best way is to go forward. Uh, so also for phase three uh, trials, this is very complicated because you don't know yet which countries uh, you should do the trial in because you have to chase the virus. The, the trial has to be in a country where there is still a virus going around. So those are quite a complicated uh, discussion. So it's very difficult to say uh, something exactly about the timeline. That makes a lot of sense. We know you are so busy. Uh, so we really appreciate your time talking with us today. Rinka Boss, best of luck. We're certainly all rooting for you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.